Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. Today's tutorial we are going to be covering um, something a little bit more simple which is how to add um, logos um, to your clothing pieces for your avatar. So it doesn't have to be a logo if there's like a little image you've drawn up or maybe you want to add your name to something. Um, it doesn't also have to be just clothing, it could be to body textures. Um, so it, it just really anything that you want to edit on your avatar. I'm going to show you how I personally edit um, and add my clothing um, logo and, and name to the clothing. Uh, sorry if I misspeak at all today. I just woke up not too long ago. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And before we do, um, as I've been trying to do on the last few tutorials, um, kind of give a shout out to the person that requested this tutorial. And that was brought to us by Moonshine. Uh, they commented on YouTube and they are also in my server um, and had requested that we cover this. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so there's a few different ways that you can um, add your logo or um, an image or your name, whatever, to a piece of clothing like a shirt your um, body's texture, your face texture, whatever you're wanting to add. It's kind of the same across the board. Um, a lot of people would probably use Photoshop. I sometimes use Procreate, which is only available on the iPad. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it on your computer, just in case you don't have Photoshop or you don't have Procreate. Um, regardless of what program you use, the process is pretty much the same, just depending on what program you use. Of course, the buttons will be different. But um, I'm going to be using a website called Be Funky. It's spelled just like it sounds. Um, and it's a free website. They do have like premium stuff that you can use, of course. Um, but this is what I use a lot of the times if my, be my iPad's dead or if it's just something I need to edit, you know, kind of quick and simple. Um, I use them fairly often. And the reason why I like them... Um, instead of something like Canva, which is what I use to um, like make a lot of my thumbnails and stuff, is with Be Funky, whenever you import a photo, it keeps the photo's original size versus on something like Canva, you might have the size be bigger or smaller than your original image. So whenever you go to put it back onto your avatar, it's gonna mess it up. So regardless of what uh, website or app that you're using to um, do the edits, you wanna make sure that you're importing the photo itself and editing on top of that. Instead of saying, like, let me um, pull it up, just to kind of give you guys an example. So for Canva, right, you have, like, all these different options. You can see some of the stuff I've made. So if you come in here and you're like, oh, let's create a design at 8.5 by 11 inches. Um, whenever you go to import your design that you're wanting to change, I don't think I have any. textures uploaded but you know let's just say for example that this is like your shirt texture or something obviously it's not the same size and you can sit here and you can fit it to to where it fits but since that's not the size that the image is originally at that means that whenever you go to put it back onto your avatar regardless of what it is the uv is going to be messed up since the image is a different size so um, that's why I personally use Be Funky, and like I said, no matter what you use, um, even on Procreate or Photoshop, just make sure you're importing. So like on Procreate, you can say start a new design, screen size, or portrait size, whatever, but it'll also say like um, import a photo, and then you'll add it on top of that. That's what you need to do. So for Be Funky, um, instead of like create a design where you're going to pick out the size, we're going to edit a photo. And... I was already editing something, as you can see. So let's find, and let's go here. Um, I'll do a few different ones. I'll do the body, um, a face texture, and clothing, just so that you can kind of see it on different ones. I'm trying to think. Let's do... Let's do this one. The bodysuit. Let's do it on the red one. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to drag that in here. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to get the um, Unity. 
project going so that whenever we finish the edits, I can toss it onto the avatar and you can see. So let's say, so uh, Moonshine requested parent TikTok logo. So they mentioned that they're trying to add a TikTok logo. So let's go ahead and get something downloaded here. And if you're trying to do anything transparent, if it wants to load, there it goes. Um, if you're ever trying to use anything transparent, um, you need to make sure that it is a PNG and that it has this like checkered background. And uh, if not, if it has like a white background or if it downloads as a uh, JPEG or something, it won't be transparent. So keep that in mind. So we're going to come over here. Um, I guess this is kind of a tutorial for Be Funky, but um, the gist kind of applies to regardless of what you're doing. Um, so you want to edit, you know, like I said, your photo, import your transparent image. Um, and I'm coming up here to Image Manager and uh, just uploaded the image here. I'm just going to resize it and just kind of center it where I want. Now keep in mind um, whenever you're doing something like this, unless you have something like Substance Painter that's like for editing textures, um, you might have to come in and resize it or move it around um, because this is a flat texture going onto a 3D object, right? So it's going to warp a little bit. So, you know, you might have it here and it might end up warping because the chest is around here. Um, or you might have it up here thinking that's under the collarbone, but um, that might actually be closer to where the shoulder is because of how it's going to fold. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, so what I normally do is I'll leave open whatever photo editing app that I'm using as well as my project in Blender or Unity, whatever. Um, and then that way, if I need to make adjustments so that I can get it just how I want to, I, I can. So um, we'll just kind of toss that on there. We're going to save it. Um, just going to save it something like that. And hit save. There it is. That's still open. Let me see if I can get it. Not too sure which one's going to open faster. I'm sorry I didn't open it before I started recording. Probably would have been the smarter thing to do. Hello? Blender? Why is everything running so ungodly slow today? I am so sorry, you guys. Okay, well, while we're doing that, um, where is... Oh, no. That's not technically lewd, but that's kind of rude. Okay. I'm going to open up another Be Funky project while I wait for this. Oh, it didn't open. <gasps> it opened. Okay. So let's hide armature once it's done doing that. So the same thing applies, and I just kind of want to show um, a few different things. Where is Okay, so like this is her body texture. So if you wanted to oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit my mic. Say you wanted to add your name to it. Um and I really like this one. Okay, so um this is just in B Funky, they have pre made text. Um, but let's just delete that, and I don't want this box. There it goes. And, here. and you get your text going, you have it decorated however you want it to be. Right, um, and let's say I wanted it on the collarbone. So with like a body texture or face texture, it's going to be a little bit easier um, to be able to place things because of shading. But it's the, the same process and like I said, I just kind of wanted to show um, just kind of a few different things on how I edit um, and add things like logos or text or images um, just because I know some people um, prefer to be able to see exactly what they're looking for. Um, so since the tutorial request was for adding a TikTok logo to 
bodysuit. We'll have that, but also just in case you're wanting to figure out how to maybe add it to uh, like a body texture or something, then we have that and just ignore everything going on because it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, this is me doing edits. So, okay, so Blender, Unity, wherever. You'll go and you'll find your new texture. You'll import it and ta-da. Oh, oh, there it goes. So now we have the TikTok logo. And see, so like I said, um, on our, okay, so like this one's a little bit high up. Um, maybe we were kind of aiming for the chest and it looks a little bit bigger here than it actually turned out. So that's what I mean whenever, you know, you might need to readjust it a little bit. And keep in mind, uh, especially with transparent logos, um, this one has a normal map to kind of give it that like gridded texture. So with stuff like that, it's going to apply how it needs to be. But if you're wanting to add stuff like emissions and stuff, um, you're going to need to edit the emission map. So that's something a little bit different. Um, let me save this real quick and I'll show you guys. So if we have, let's say, I don't know that I have her emission map. Um, I have the, oh, not sweater, bodysuit. So this is an emission map. Um, if you're familiar with editing avatars, you probably already know about this, but just in case, um, emission maps are, so like on my avatar, I have it to where all the red on her glows and like pulses. Um, so that's basically in Unity, it's going to read only whatever is in white. So what you could do is um, you could come, say like you wanted the TikTok logo to be, oh, my timer just went off. So you wanted the TikTok logo to be a uh, part of the emission bodysuit emission right and then down here we're going to right click canvas and fit to canvas so now it fits and then in a be funky i think somewhere there's a oh down here layers so then i'll just move the tiktok one on top maybe do a color overlay and change it white um so now, you know, whenever you put this back into Unity, you could go change out the emission spot and your TikTok logo will glow along with the rest of the emissions. That's only if you wanted to. You don't have to. Um, it's fine as it is, uh, but just if you wanted it to have like the same effect as uh, some of the emissions or maybe you wanted it to glow um, by itself or something like you have that. Um, so that's just, I mean, it's, it's the same process as adding you know, a picture or a name. Um, to any clothing, just add the picture. Just make sure you're adding it on top of the emission map and make sure you're changing it to white. Um, and if you're wanting it to be like a separate, like, um, what's the word? If you're wanting it to be like a separate emission, then it, you could come in here, throw on this, make it black. And it's not going to do it, but it's okay. We'll just scale it. Right. And then boom. So since we never moved that TikTok logo, it's still going to be in the exact same spot. Um, so if you're ever wanting to mess with emissions and you've added a logo, you've added a name, whatever you've added, um, just make sure you don't move it. And, um, you know, you can make, put it on the emission map, just like I showed you guys, just by adding it. Um, or you can add, if you wanted like multiple emissions and you wanted this to maybe be a different color instead of like red with the rest of the bodysuit, uh, you wanted it to glow purple or something in game. Um, this is getting a little bit more advanced, but if you know about avatar editing, um, then you know kind of where to go. But just in case you don't, let me show you real quick. Um, so everything is locked right now, but down here it's under special FX whenever you click on the a bodysuit it's on the material and it's under emission so this is where you put in that emission map so I, I like I said I have it red so if you wanted to um, maybe have like the TikTok logo be a separate one you'll of course want to change out the texture for the new one and then you'll just add 
whenever it's not locked, uh, there's multiple emission spots. You'll just check mark the another one and throw in this one. And then that way the red will still glow red, but now you can have your TikTok logo go purple or whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it. The, the gist is still the same regardless of if you're editing emissions, body textures, um, whatever you're, you're wanting to add. So let me find this new one and just kind of show you guys real quick before I head out. So yeah. It's the same across the board. Just, you know, get yourself a photo editing app. I highly recommend Be Funky. I use it religiously. Um, you'll upload the texture of the clothing or body or head, whatever you're wanting to edit. Um, you'll add in whatever logo you're wanting to add. Um, like, you could do mine. Oh, you could do this one. And you'll just scale it down to, you know, however, wherever you want it to be and then upload this new image to your avatar. Um, and then if you're wanting to, you know, like do, um, you know, like, like the emissions or something different, then just change that out. And if you need to move it and readjust it, just keep this window open and go and toss it onto your avatar and then make sure it's where you want it. And then go adjust it. It's pretty simple to add logos and stuff to clothing. Um, you just need a program to do it so be funky is what i recommend it's free obviously super easy to use um photoshop is another one a lot of people use but i know that that one costs money so um yeah i hope this helps if you have any questions let me know and i'll do my best to answer and as always if you have a tutorial that you would like to see please let me know down in the comments below or in my discord server other than that uh happy logo adding and I hope you have a great day.